Hi, Amy Lou. How are you? Hi, Kyle. I'm fine. Well, let's see. I know we got a couple things to talk about today. One of those being uh, a Christmas special that you're a part of. What's coming out going to air on de- December seventh, the Nashville Christmas. Um, how did how did uh, how did you get involved in this? What's the story here? Um, it was my good friend Bonnie Garner who's involved with Skyville. This this great you know internet show that, that they started doing. Lots of interesting shows, and she called me about uh, being involved in the Christmas special. And um, so I said, why not? I know there's a, I mean, you've probably been a part of many of these, you know, throughout your career. And I don't know, it always conjures a lot of different uh, memories for me. Do you have any favorites of the Christmas specials? Because that seemed like, especially through the, you know, 60s, 70s and 80s, like every artist ended up being a part of one of these. Well, you know, I have a particular attachment to uh, Kate and Anna McGarrigal. And uh, they, every few years they would do a Christmas special in different cities. Uh, we did some at Carnegie Hall. We did some, you know, they're Canadian. And we did <clears throat> one in Montreal and different places. And we did one in Nashville a couple of years ago. And th- they really uh, go all out. And it's, it's always an, an interesting uh, musical experience as well as being around your friends. Yeah, so this one was my first, um, well, not my first one because we did one in Nashville, um, as I said last year. But um, I don't know. I mean, it's just a, a, a chance to get together and sing those Christmas songs that, that you've known all your life. Always a good time for a duet, a Christmas song. I, I, I hear, I read on here you do uh, Dolly's Coat of Many Colors. Is that right? Yes, and that was a result of doing the McGarrigal uh, Christmas shows. Uh, you know, uh, Rufus Wainwright is K- Kate uh, McGarrigal's son. Mm-hmm. And uh, at one of these Christmas shows we did a few years ago, he said, I want to do Coat of Many Colors because that to me is a Christmas song. You know, it it talks about the spirit of Christmas. So when we were looking for songs to do, because everybody, you know, has their own favorite Christmas songs, and but this was, I thought, was would be an, a a different one. And of course, being a Dolly Parton song, I think it speaks to um, Nashville and country music. And it almost seems like a sort of a. I mean, I know you've got a lot of history with Dolly, but uh, you head back to the Christmas album that you did in '79, Light of the Stable, and she's singing backup on that one, right? Right. It's actually Dolly and Linda and Neil Young. <laughs> <laughs> because you can. Because uh, you can. Why not? Yeah. So it's kind of an, like, and that's a beautiful record. Still a beautiful record. Uh, I just revisited it right before this interview to kind of, because, uh, you know, yeah. I, I haven't gone back to Christmas music yet. And you only did one of those. With that one, did you ever consider doing any more of those through the years? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think one is enough. And it was a very special one. Not exactly, didn't exactly top the charts. In fact, we joked that it was uh, one of the best kept secrets in the music business. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's... And yet it continues to, over the years, it's been discovered by people, you know. Because a good record's a good record. Yeah, a good record, that's true. That's all you really should set out to do. I don't know. I I know Christmas songs. I mean, they're different. I don't know. I I assume they're different than writing than the usual bunch. Are are they? Is it it different to write a Christmas song than what you would normally do with any other? I've never written a Christmas song. Oh, I I I actually thought the uh, the, the title track was yours. That was my bad on that. Uh, No, that was um, a friend of my then husband and producer, Brian Ern. The fellow is named Stephen Reimer from Nova Scotia. I gotcha. Well, it still seems like that would be so much harder to write, even though it's so specific to get that. I mean, I don't know. I think um, I feel like the dream is, you know, to write the one great Christmas song, and then you can retire if you want to, because it just th- those royalties will come in every single year. <laughs> yeah, Jingle Bells. The guy right. never had to. He never had to work another day in his life. <laughs> right. I know we also need to talk about, uh, or uh, want to talk about the uh, National Shelter and Animal Rescue Week. I- is that this week? Uh, I believe it's this month. I think that it's a it's a month sort of dedicated to that, or maybe not. I'm just glad for any kind of publicity that sheds a light on the plight of all these homeless animals. I mean, there are millions of them that are put down every year for lack of a place for them to go. Perfectly healthy animals. There's really a movement on in this country as people uh, realize this and also understand the importance of spaying and neutering their pets so that we don't have so many so many of them uh, coming into shelters. Yeah. So 
So I think this is really important. There's a big movement that called, you know, adopt, don't shop. Although, on the other hand, you know, you have a lot of animals in a terrible state from the puppy mills, which is something I hope will eventually be shut down. And we're really close to all that here at WFPK. We uh, we team up with the Kentucky Humane Society every single week. They bring in rescue animals, and, uh, and we put them on the air, and every single week they're adopted. So it, it was, you know, I, I've always really respected what you're doing out there, and and you're, uh, you work a lot with, uh, it's called Bonaparte's Retreat? Well, it's my shelter. It's in my, it's in my yard. <laughs> it's in my backyard. It's a small shelter. But we, take, uh, we partner with Metro Animal Control. And when we first started in uh, 2004, the euthanasia rate was incredibly high, especially during the foreclosure crisis. A lot of people were just abandoning their animals, and the euthanasia rate went up, uh, well, it was up in the 80s, high 80s. And now, with uh, the smaller shelters, independent shelters like Bonaparte, you know, taking animals and putting them in a no-kill situation, they they're they're way 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 down. Of course, what we want to become is a is a no-kill city, and and I really believe that we can achieve that. Well, I, like I said, I I love that you're working out there and and fighting that good fight on that one. We really love hearing about all the good work you do uh, with the animals. So so thank you for that. And uh, and I'd love to hear what you're up to now. I mean, uh, you're you're pretty consistent with an album every two or three years, so we're about to uh, that mark. No, I don't think that's going to happen for a while. What's happening is they're re-releasing uh, other relatively undiscovered projects of mine. I think in February, uh, Rhino is going to release the Balva Sally Rose, which was originally released in '87, mm, or perhaps it's hard for me to remember. <laughs> But it's going to be released with the original demos that we did, which was basically just me and a guitar and me doing all the harmonies. So I think it'll, it'll be an interesting project for people who are fans of mine. I, I'm, I'm at the point right now where I don't mean I'm slowing down. I still do a lot of touring, but I'm working on a memoir. And uh, I find it really hard to do more than one thing at once. <laughs> so... I'm putting my attention to that. Well, uh, I, I'm, I'm really excited to hear that. I mean, you've got so much music out there that we can always enjoy at any point. So if it means a break right. for something I've else, then enough. I'll for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Emmy Lou, it was such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Take care. Bye. Bye.